Hello, today I figured I'd talk to you about the uh, Green Mountain Boys and their flag. Now, if you'll see it there, I'm, I'm not going to be able to hold it up the entire video, so here we go, there's their flag. Now, the Green Mountain Boys were an organization established in what is today Vermont. They were established in 1770 as a militia group. And they were established in the modern Vermont area. Um, the problem with this is at the time, the lands had originally belonged to New Hampshire, which is over here, but then there was a crown policy that gave New York over here authority over the area that was at the time known as the New Hampshire land grants because it had belonged to New Hampshire. So there was much confusion over which neighboring colony had rights to Vermont. Uh, New York was more keen on enforcing law in the area, and thus the Green Mountain Boys began to oppose New York more than supporting New Hampshire. They wanted to be separate, however, they were more focused on being anti-New York. At the beginning of the war, Ethan Allen rallied his men. Uh, they were at this time based in southern Vermont. He rallied his men, and they, along with Benedict Arnold, captured Fort Ticonderoga, which is located around here in uh, southern Lake Champlain. Now, the capture of Fort Ticonderoga included the capture of 60 cannon, which were able to greatly help at the Siege of Boston. After this, their successes continued with the capture of Fort Crown Point and Fort George, both still on Lake Champlain. Um, now, this level of success made the leaders, Ethan Allen and Benedict Arnold, who well, Benedict Arnold was technically a separate advisor, however, he did have some authority. They decided to go up into Canada. Now, part of why this was controversial is... Um, there were New York troops going with them, and the Vermonters did not like cooperating with New York. So the majority of the men stayed in their homes throughout Vermont, but 100 men, including New Yorkers, went up with Benedict Arnold and Ethan Allen into Canada. Now, they briefly held Quebec City. However, the British sent a force of 250 regulars to kick them out. Um, well, actually, regulars mixed with militia, but 250 men to kick out 100, and it worked. Uh, they were kicked out. Um, after this, they decided to spend the majority of their time in southern Vermont, as most of the action of the war was happening in New England down here, and not much was happening up here. They were safer keeping their men down here. Um, they actually declared independence separate from the other colonies. In 1776 is when the majority of America declared independence. However, Vermont sent no representatives to that. Instead, in 1777, Vermont declared a separate independence. Independence from Great Britain and the other American colonies. They were not going to send any men to any colonies to help. They were staying in Vermont. Now, Gentleman Johnny Burgoyne, a British general, was about to march his troops through Vermont in order to get to another state. It's complicated and not what we're talking about right now, so I won't go off on a tangent. Um, now, the Green Mountain Boys stopped him at the Battle of Bennington. Now, this is the only major Revolutionary War battle to happen in Vermont, and is the instance that we know for certain that this flag was flown in a battle, which is what brings it together. Um, after this, the Green Mountain Boys stayed in the state, didn't really do much except protecting it uh, from small raids and such. They, in fact, disbanded as an official organization in 1779. However, when the state was independent until 1791, they did act as sort of an official government body. Um, 
In fact, today, the Vermont National Guard is still informally referred to as the Green Mountain Boys. And they still fly this flag at National Guard events and bases um, in Vermont. So that is my video on the Vermont Republic and the Green Mountain Boys. Sorry for the delay of this video coming out. Um, I've been busy at my job working overtime and the editing software is not easy to figure out. So I figured out the editing software. This should all work well. Um, leave me your opinions in the comments below. Uh, tell me any videos you'd like me to make and any topics you want me to discuss.